He's just a little bit below all that. He's like top 20. So when you start getting up and getting into the top 20, then you're going to start to go, oh, I've come up against my real test and it's Otto Wallin. No messing about. We're going straight into this. Let's just watch this video that Esports Boxing Club put out for us. I haven't watched it yet. We're going to watch it together right now. Let's get into it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Big Southpaw. There isn't that many. Charles and Martin, I think, is the other only big. Oh, Luis Ortiz. There's not many. There's not many Southpaws. 22 and 1. 14 KO. Let me go back a minute. Let me go back a minute. Let's dissect this. All right. So we got we got the one pager here in front of us. All in Wallin, former WBA Continental Heavyweight Champion, Swedish, big guy, man, six foot five, only 30, only 30 years old. Obviously known for that fight against um, Tyson Fury, a 22 and one record, a southpaw, so he's going to be awkward. I'm all for more southpaws being in Esports Boxing Club because it means we get to see how difficult they are. Everyone says it, especially heavyweights. Anthony Joshua came out and said about Alexander Usyk being a difficult fighter because he's a southpaw he actually said and i'm quoting him verbatim a little bit here he said if you ever want to be a great fighter avoid a southpaw and this is one i i would avoid a big guy strong only loss against tyson fury it's exciting it's a good fighter it's a good person to have on the uh let me get back into normal mode it's a good person to have on the roster just more the merrier more the merrier this is what we're after we're just trying to these little fighters that you're seeing stuff like utter Wallin, they're all gonna add up eventually because when you're going through career mode and when you're going through the ranks and you're going through different fighters and you start to make it into that i'm not talking about the top 10 because utter Wallin isn't quite top 10 he's just a little bit below all that he's like top 20 so when you start getting up and getting into the top 20, then you're going to start to go, oh, I've come up against my real test and it's Otto Wallin. This is a good move. This is a really good move. They need to filter that side of it as well. Like it's all good aiming for the top dogs. It's all good aiming for your Anthony Joshua's and your, I don't know, you name it, Dillian White and Tyson Fury's. They're great. They're the top guys. But what happens when you're in career mode and you're just going up the ladder, you're going to have to come up against someone like an Otto Wallin. It's how do you handle that? How do you handle awkward Southpaw? These are the, these are the questions that we're going to have to answer in ESBC. And I'm, I'm, I'm super happy about this one. It's a good move. Would I personally use Otto Wallin? Uh, probably not, if I'm being absolutely honest. I don't imagine Otto Wallin being the type of fighter that I would utilize. But still, I'm glad he's here. I can imagine I'll be avoiding him. If, if it ever came to it, if I could choose in the game whether I can avoid and duck a fighter, I'd probably duck Otto Wallin. If I wanted to keep my record clean, like, you know, like Floyd Mayweather clean, I'd probably avoid Otto Wallin. Most of us should know because I've done a video on it. Otto Wallin was meant to be fighting Dillian White. That fight's not going ahead now due to injury. Injury, but injury it'd be interesting to see what's next for him i actually quite liked the alan babich fight for him hopefully that can happen in the future i actually did a top five list of fighters i would like to see otto wallin go up against and um, on that list was actually daniel dubois so frank this is a message for you as well if eddie can't do anything with otto take him to bt sports get him on there because daniel dubois i'm sure he's i'm sure he'd take that fight in a heartbeat and that would be a very good fight i would i would watch that overall good fighter glad he's on the card i did stay up to watch the tyson fury versus otto wallin fight it was a few years ago now i can't remember when it was but it was it was a while back and it, i remember saying this guy's sticking it on tyson fury this is not i've not seen this like i've always said why don't people just stick it on him don't let him have the room to breathe and move just stick it on him and Otto Wallin stuck it on Tyson Fury. He only just came up short. I argue he probably put a, put a bit more pressure on him, especially when he had that big cut. But, oh well, he moves on. Life moves on. But anyway, that is my thoughts. Just on a general, I am back. Um, I've made posts on Twitter and on YouTube around what's been going on. I did catch COVID. Uh, I'm okay. 
feeling good uh tired but i'm okay and i'll be back in phases so i'll make content here and there and i'll probably just rest <laughs> but i am back and it's cool to be back i've missed making content and yeah it's it's this is the first of many videos we're going to start again it's been a good rest it's been a good break for the channel and it's nice to make a slow return i got content coming with the coach's corner i've got boxing videos to do with canelo and caleb plant i've got more esbc content i want to create but i just got to take my time do you know what i mean i just got to take it easy i'm not 100 percent and uh yeah health is wealth so that will always go first and then everything else will follow but anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you soon take care of yourselves peace